Right now, Madisonians are getting ready for the summer. We head to the Capitol Square's first farmer's market of the season to check out what's going on. Also, learn how one group continues to make heart health care accessible for those around the Madison area. And we're following the looming tensions in the Middle East as the world braces for more conflict due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. Welcome to News 3 Now at 6. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jalen Banks. We begin with breaking news. Firefighters are containing a two-alarm fire in a Verona restaurant. Just around 5 p.m. this evening, a fire broke out at a pizza ranch just off of East Avenue in Verona. That's near the farm and fleet in Verona. Our crew on the scene said flames could be seen shooting out of the roof. First responders from Middleton, Madison, Fitchburg, Belleville, and New Glarus joined Verona Fire to battle the blaze. We will continue to keep you updated as we gather more information both on air and on our website at channel3000.com. And now let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy, it has been a beautiful day today. It, it definitely has been a beautiful day today and we actually hit 70 degrees here in Madison and temperatures right now are not too bad. Take a look at the Capitol Sky shot right now. We are sitting at 69 degrees with a south south wind at 13. So if you have not been outside today, it is definitely the perfect time to get outside. Current temperatures across Dane County right now. Mount Horeb is at 70 degrees, 72 in Sauk City, 69 in Sun Prairie. As we widen out the view, cooler toward the lake regions where Milwaukee is only at 61 degrees. But as you head towards La Crosse and Black River Falls, they are in the middle 70s. And with that warmer weather, we do have the chance for severe thunderstorms on your Tuesday. So that's why we do have an alert day in the forecast. This is for all of southern Wisconsin for the possibility of high winds, hail and an isolated tornado. And this is on Tuesday. But for now, planning your evening overnight tonight, look for temperatures to fall into the lower 60s overnight tonight. And then as we start your day tomorrow, look for temperatures in the 70s coming up in Maine weather. We'll talk about that alert day and more. Buddy, thank you. And speaking of that alert day to stay up on the weather on our first one weather forecast weather app. It has hourly forecast road conditions and the latest radar. You can download it for free on your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. Well, the kids may still be in school for another month or two, but today we got one of the first signs that summer in Madison is almost here. The Dane County Farmers Market. Our Brandon Ross took to the square this morning to bring you a glimpse of the very first Capitol Square Farmers Market of the season. Take a look. The sun is shining, the flowers are blooming, and the largest farmer's market in Wisconsin is back. I think the weather was perfect for the first day, which might be why it's so busy here today. It's the day Madisonians look forward to all winter. I think people are ready to get out, and today, I mean, you couldn't ask. I mean, this is beautiful, beautiful. The first farmer's market of this season brought hundreds of people to the square. I'm from Fort Atkinson and we try to come every week. Everyone has their favorites. We get the spicy cheese bread every time and kettle corn. Yep, Ernie's kettle corn is a must. Thank you guys, enjoy. Yep. Joshua Keller has been selling pork and lamb at the Dane County Farmer's Market for three years now. Customers are really good here. It's just a good, they love to listen to you, let you explain what you do. And as farmers, it's really good to be transparent. It's one of seven he and his family sell at every week during the summer. This morning, we started chores at 2.30 a.m. And then we pack up and come to the market to be here by 6 o'clock. Yeah, so it's a lot. And, and we need the support for smaller family farms to stay alive. But Keller says the work is worth it to connect with his community, regular customers, and brand new ones alike. We love them. So if they're watching, I hope they see this and see that we, we truly do it gets busy, so it's hard to talk a lot, but we, we really do enjoy our conversations. If you weren't able to make it out to the first farmer's market of the year, don't worry, you still have plenty of time to come every Saturday through November. Reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. Some pretty recognizable faces hit the court for the fifth annual Easter Seals Wisconsin Celebrity Basketball Game. Former Badgers hit the hardwood supporting children and adults with disabilities, along with pictures with Bucky, People were able to take part in other games as well, as long as they were a part of the basketball clinics and much more. The Memorial Union is joined by Cardiac on campus for the fifth semi-annual ECG drive. The organization and this event promotes accessible cardiac health care and cardiac health awareness. Saturday, they offered free electrocardiograms or ECG screenings for the W. Madison community. 
And so okay. basically we have all of these different electrodes which are put on different parts of the body so that we can see the electricity of the heart from multiple positions because the standard one in the hospital where they do five, that only shows you from certain positions. But because we have 10 here, it's giving us like a multi-dimension. An ECG is a non-invasive test that determines whether or not someone has an underlying heart condition. What's been a few years in the making became official Friday. A statue of Vell Phillips will be erected on the Capitol grounds sometime in June. The state capitol and executive residence board granting final approval for a statue commemorating the life and legacy of Vell Phillips. It'll become the first statue of a black leader or any person of color on the grounds of the state capitol. Vell Phillips was the first black American woman elected to a statewide office serving as the 29th Secretary of State. Other achievements include her being the first black woman to graduate from UW-Madison Law School and the first black judge in Wisconsin. Turning now to crime, Madison police are looking to identify a woman who cut a shopper at a pick and save on Madison's south side. MPD shared these photos of a woman and her car. Police say she used a weapon to cut another shopper's face. It's believed this happened because of frustration over how long the victim took to check out. She was taken to the hospital for her injuries. No word at this time on her condition. If you have any information, Madison police are urging you to call Madison Area Crime Stoppers at the number on your screen. That is 608-266-6014. An early morning Saturday fire leaves one person displaced. Madison Fire Department was dispatched to the 4000 block of Nicosa Trail at 5:11 a.m. after a caller reported smoke in the hallway. Fire officials say upon arrival, the residents were evacuating and an occupant was sitting outside. The occupant reported there was a fire in her unit. Fire crews located the apartment and confirmed there was a fire that was put out by automatic sprinklers. Fire crews shut down electricity to the apartment and assisted with removing water from the first floor hallways. Three additional apartment units were affected by the water, but those occupants have not been displaced. A 29-year-old man in Middleton is, is arrested overnight after allegedly driving his car in such a way that allowed his tires to squeal. And it was at a nearby gas station, which eventually led to his vehicle sliding. Police officials were called to the 7600 block of Lisa Lane at 12.56 a.m., where the officer initiated a traffic stop. The officer smelled alcohol coming from the man's breath. He also had slurred speech. His eyes were red and glossy. Police officials say the man appeared sluggish. The man was arrested for operating a motor vehicle while intoxicated. This would be his fourth offense, which would enact a felony OWI. A blood search warrant was obtained and results are not available at this time. The man was booked into the Dane County Jail for felony OWI. Iran launched drones towards Israel as retaliation for an Israeli airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria, which killed Iranian military officials two weeks ago. As CBS's Christian Benavides reports, this could signal a dramatic escalation. Iran has launched dozens of drones headed towards Israeli territory, an IDF spokesperson confirmed Saturday. This is a severe and dangerous escalation. Our defensive and offensive capabilities are at the highest level of readiness ahead of this large-scale attack from Iran. Earlier, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, in an address to the nation, said, Our defense systems are deployed. We are prepared for any scenario, both in defense and attack. U.S. officials believe Iran's attack could include more than 100 drones, 150 cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles used for long-range strikes. President Joe Biden, who was in Delaware for the weekend, cut his trip short to head back to the White House to meet with national security officials, despite recent disagreements over its response in Gaza. At a press conference earlier this week, the president said the U.S. stands with Israel. We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel and Iran will not succeed. Iran is looking to retaliate after an airstrike on the Iranian consulate in Syria two weeks ago. Seven military officers were killed. General Frank McKenzie, former head of Central Command, says there is real concern an Iranian attack could lead to wider conflict.
if there's a significant mass casualty event inside Israel, then I think the possibility of escalation is very, very high. Israel has limited gatherings and is recommending its citizens to stay near safe rooms and shelters. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. It will take several hours for drones to reach Israeli airspace. And coming up next on News 3 Now at 6, see how your old soccer gear is helping children all the way in West Africa. Everyone deserves a fulfilling job, but for people with disabilities, the barriers can be overwhelming. It's time to open the door to new possibilities. People with disabilities are getting the education, skills, and training needed to thrive in a wide variety of industries. And they're ready for an opportunity, a job, a career. Thinkability Wisconsin. All you have to do is start with yes. Join the movement at thinkabilitywi.org. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cook to order, scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always served with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to the Save on new Champion windows during replacement window season. Now is the best time to buy new Champion windows, because when you buy two, you get two free. If your windows are drafty, ugly, or broken, your home needs our windows. We design, build, install, and guarantee it for life. We have enough hands to help you every step of the way. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks. Buy two, get two won't last long. Call or schedule online at getchampionwindows.com. Check this out, the newest fantasy game from DraftKings. Just pick between two and six players and choose if they're gonna have more or less of a stat. They compete against others for cash prizes. It's that simple. Okay, let's try it. Do you want more Kevin Hart or less Kevin Hart now? No, don't answer that. Download the Pick 6 app today and score up to $200 back in Pick 6 credits if you don't win your first pick set. The crown is yours. What? You're watching News 3 Now at 6. With spring here and summer on its way, it's easy for many families to dig out their soccer balls and cleats or just simply buy new ones. But children in countries around the world may not have that luxury, despite having just as much love for the game. Armand Rahman shows us an effort here in Wisconsin to help. Two men in Dane County who love soccer are looking for your old soccer gear like this you have lying around the garage because they have a goal of helping kids in West Africa. You know, these are kids with dreams just like every other soccer player. But when Aliunjai of Cottage Grove went home to Gambia for a visit, he saw those kids scrounge around to find anything they can kick around for soccer just like he did. We'll use a bunch of plastic bags, put them together and uh, tighten them up. And then I looked at my next player He's playing barefoot. So he went to state soccer official Tom Bergeron to find out what they could do. I've been a soccer official for 30 years, and I know most all of the coaches and administrative people in soccer in the state of Wisconsin. All you remembered to play sometimes as a child in West Africa. We have to think out of the box. And so to help them, he and Tom had to do the same. Then I'll wrap it up in either a plastic wrap or I'll put it in a box. Inside, soccer balls and uniforms gathered by teams from Waukesha County to Superior. Now Tom is hoping to connect and collect more through their nonprofit soccer for West African children. We got a couple of uh, respondents in like the depth of the winter. So now in the spring, summer and fall, will really get things going. Aliu deflates and packages the equipment to send with the distribution company he works with. He got to see the impact the uniforms had on the kids in person. The smile on their faces was great, you know, and it, it was, there were kids that play on the same street that I play on. And my goal is to just spread the love and spread the word and get soccer balls and get people involved. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. And coming up next on News 3 Now at 6, See how couples from around the state are handling wedding rates as they get ready to tie the knot. And we'll give you another check of your first worn forecast when we return. 
Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Hey dad, look, us. this is the magma chamber. Uh-huh, this isn't us, is it? When did we get so connected to our devices and so disconnected from each other? She's not answering. What? And when our phones have turned us into this, LT, what do you do when you're a company that sells them? We gotta fix this. It's time to find what we're missing. Join us in taking a break from our devices. Take the phones down for five challenge for five days, five hours, or even just five minutes. Feels good. And let's find <laughs> us again. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Watch this. Witness what happens to this woman's bags under her eyes in an actual time lapse in just minutes. The problem will disappear before your eyes with a revolutionary topical formulation that works in just minutes, and the effects will last for hours. Over one million people are using this topical technique to visually reduce puffiness and bags, even fine lines and wrinkles on the face and forehead. Introducing Plexiderm. Jump on board and say yes to this amazing $14.95 Plexiderm trial. Order right now. We'll pay your shipping. I worked as a truck driver for 36 years. And then one day I got this letter. Your retirement will be cut. Will be cut in half. You don't forget something like that. Every paycheck, we put money away. But because of Wall Street greed, boom, it was gone. But Tammy Baldwin saw what they were doing and wrote a bill to save our retirement. Then she fought like hell to pass it. What Tammy Baldwin did for our families, you don't forget something like that. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Watching News 3 now at 6, moving forward. Wedding season is here, and Sloan Wick checks in with lovebirds from around the state to see how they're faring. Weddings can be a lot of fun, so why are we seeing less of them in Wisconsin than 50 years ago? Well, experts say there are a lot of reasons. People kind of took a more choose your own adventure approach to starting a family, meaning that you could cohabitate, you could have a child and then consider getting married. You could partner with someone and never marry. Delaying a marriage, one thing that we also have to um, look at is age at first marriage has increased. So that is the biggest one. The Wisconsin DHS started keeping track of marriages in 1920. Back then, about one in every 125 Wisconsinites got married each year. Now it's about one in every 200. That's more than a 40% decrease. But that number could be tied to another one. Lots of weddings. It's expensive. The average in 2024 is um, in Wisconsin is the average is 26,000. Back in the 40s and 50s, marriage was at its highest rate in Wisconsin, but that doesn't mean it was the perfect time to be in a relationship. So actually the 1950s is sort of an aberrant kind of decade to look at. So people got married young, people got married often. Marriage rates hit their rock bottom in 2020, likely because of the pandemic. The rate was almost cut in half from what it was 100 years ago in 1920. But keep your hopes up, love isn't dead. Right now, the latest data that we have from 2022 suggests that we are at pre-pandemic levels of, of marriage. And, uh, and in fact, that divorce rates seem to have gone down as well. When you've been teaching for so long and been talking to so many people that when you're least expected, um, that one will come. Because I know I did. We're probably not going back to those peak marriage rates we saw in the 40s and 50s. However, it's likely our rates will stay stable or even have a slow increase. And now let's get a look at your first one forecast with meteorologist Buddy Reeves. Buddy, 
It's been so beautiful. Mm -hmm. How long is this here to stay? Uh, another couple of days, and then the weather is actually going to change and get a little bit cooler as we head on into the middle of next week. Taking a look at your three things you need to know. We're going to continue that warming trend for your Sunday with temperatures in the 70s. That mild weather will then continue into your Monday before we have a change on your Tuesday where we are tracking alert day conditions for the chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms and some of those scattered showers and thunderstorms could be severe. So we have issued an alert day and this is for all of southern Wisconsin for the possibility of high winds, hail and an isolated tornado and this is primarily for Tuesday. It could be in the morning and also in the afternoon. So we're going to keep track of that, but we'll get to that in just one moment. So let's go over your Sunday starting out at 7 a.m. We're going to start out at around 58 degrees, so it's going to be rather comfortable as you head out the door. And then as we head on into your Sunday afternoon, and evening. Look at these temperatures. 75 degrees here in Madison. We're forecasting 74 in Wisconsin Dells and 71 in Camp Douglas. These are about 10 to 15 degrees higher than our normal average for this time of year and heading on into your Sunday night and Monday morning as you begin your work week. Uh, starting off at around 44 degrees. So it's going to be a little bit chillier on your Monday morning but still overall pretty comfortable. Now back to the alert day that we have and that we are tracking for your Tuesday. We're going to start this off at 6 a.m. and this model is going to indicate basically we have widespread precipitation through your Tuesday afternoon and then that will continue into your Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. Again, there's a lot of uncertainty with how much severe weather we will see here across southern Wisconsin. So we're going to have to continue to watch this by Wednesday evening. This is pulled away and out the door. Now the SPC has issued a slight risk for severe weather. Again, this is for Tuesday across southern Wisconsin, Platteville, Lone Rock, Prairie du Chien. This has actually been trimmed back just a little bit from when out Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington was showing this yesterday. So again, what do we not know right now at this time? So if it is too cloudy or rainy and it rains in the morning and stays cloudy through the afternoon. That's going to uh, lower the severe weather potential for your Tuesday afternoon. Again, cool winds from the lake will also have an influence on the temperatures, which could lower that and not enough heat. We won't get the severe weather in the afternoon on your Tuesday. So we will continue to watch this as we move forward into uh, your Monday and Tuesday. So the bottom line, severe storms possible, all storm hazards are possible, and that small southern shift of that slight risk event. Taking a look at your seven to 10 day forecast, we are going to be in the 70s on your Sunday and Monday. Tuesday does look a little bit cooler and temperatures in the 60s. And then once we get past that, temperatures cool off, and then they start warming back up again into the 50s and 60s. Mm. That that's 75 tomorrow is looking is looking beautiful. I may be wearing shorts underneath the desk tomorrow. But all right. Yeah, definitely get outside. Sounds good. Thank you, buddy. Yep. And still ahead, the Green Bay Packers made a visit to Madison today and talked about their excitement for their season opener outside of the country. Next in sports. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. We've never spoken, but you've told us many things. You told us you love stargazing. Almost as much as you hate parallel parking. That heavy right foot of yours? We got you. The Lexus ES didn't begin in a studio, it began with you. Get special offers on the 2024 ES350. We're cranking up the voltage, Wisconsin. Lottery retailers all around the state are lighting up with the latest limited time offer. It's all or nothing bonus days. During the month of April, all or nothing players have a one in seven chance to receive a $2 bonus ticket for the next midday drawing. This electric offer is only available for a limited time and only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. But here's the deal. I understand how to get things done for the American people. 
I led the country through the COVID crisis. Today, we have the strongest economy in the world. I passed a law that lowers prescription drug prices, caps insulin at $35 a month for seniors. For four years, Donald Trump tried to pass an infrastructure law, and he failed. I got it done. Now we're rebuilding America. I passed the biggest law in history to combat climate change because our future depends on it. Donald Trump took away the freedom of women to choose. I'm determined to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. Donald Trump believes the job of the president is to take care of Donald Trump. I believe the job of the president is to fight for you, the American people, and that's what I'm doing. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Can we do one more take? Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? Experience the Channel 3000 News app today. Enjoy a website-like layout and swipe through articles without returning to the home screen. Download the Channel 3000 News app, powered by News 3 Now. Wednesday at 10, a massive renovation project creates chaos for residents of an affordable housing complex in Beloit. Last month, I showed you their concerns. Now others are speaking out. I'm going back to the top for answers. Wednesday at 10. The Milwaukee Bucks look to stay competitive Friday against the Oklahoma City Thunder, despite both Giannis and Damian Lillard being out. We pick things up, middle of the first quarter, Thunder leading 21-17. Brooke Lopez handing the ball off to Chris Middleton, who's doing his best Dame Lillard impression. Fade away, trade ball, all net. And now we head to the second quarter, Thunder still leading 47-41. Chris Middleton not shying away from the challenge, backs down the Thunder defender. Vet move there, and he gets the bucket. But the SGA and Chet Holmgren led Thunder would just be too much this time around. Thunder win it 125-107. And the Bucks wrap up their regular season in Orlando Sunday against the Magic. And some of our Green Bay Packers were in town today for the 115th flight fighter wing training. And when we asked the Pack what they thought of taking their talents out of the country for their season opener game in Brazil, here's what they had to say. Hanging out with some members of the military, you know, it's pretty cool, you know, we got a fighter, I got a fighter jet behind me. I got some heavy light machine guns over there, got some missiles over there, got a bunch of, you know, troops around me. I feel very safe. Um, you know, it's just a good time, you know, always like giving back, you know, sharing experiences with the community. It's a blessing to be able to do this. The Packers will open their season up against Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles in Sao Paulo, Brazil. I'm so excited to go to Brazil. Uh, I, I spent some time out there uh, two years ago, and uh, it's a beautiful place. Um, you know, a lot of great food, a lot of great people there, uh, big football, um, a big football country. How about uh, sharing a little bit with the Packers? Yeah, I know some of us are, are pining and trying to figure out how we can go down to Brazil for that game <laughs> exactly. to cover it. But, I mean, it, I think it's pretty cool what the NFL is doing, really trying to expand mm -hmm. the game and make it international. Mm -hmm. uh, they've always had the games over in London, but now they're heading down to South America, so really excited to see how much the game can grow. Absolutely. And using the Packers to do it, which is even cooler, <laughs> but more local. Yep. I know the weather down there is always really beautiful, but it's yeah. pretty beautiful uh, up here right now. Yeah, we're going to have temperatures in the 70s for your day tomorrow, and then we have an alert day in the forecast for your Tuesday for the possibility of severe weather. We'll provide an update at 10 o'clock for you, but look at tomorrow, 75 degrees, and then we have that alert day in the forecast again for your Tuesday. We cool off as we head on into your Thursday and Friday. Then by your Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we start to warm back up with temperatures getting back up into the 60s. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you, buddy, yep. and thank you all for joining us. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock, and as always, let's make it a great evening.